Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Good morrow everyone, Mr. Flanders here, and welcome to another session of Reading Mastery. Now, a couple of things before we get started. I want my friends to pay attention to some of the sounds that they will be exposed to during this reading. For example, this O that has the line over it. That means that O will make the O sound rather than A. Ah. This E right here, since it has the line over it, it will make the E sound, not the E eh sound like it normally would. It will say E. Now you'll also notice that these two E's are together and they both have the lines over the top. That means that will also make the E sound. They will make the E sound together. For example, it will sound like this. E tree okay tree one more reminder uh, you'll notice that the letter Y here has the line over it instead of sounding like a Y that would sound a little silly that Y actually makes the I sound when it has the line over it sky sky okay I think that's about it. Remember, after I am done reading it here, you are to read this story to your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, basically whoever is going to uh, read with you and, and, and listen to your awesome reading skills. Uh, but I think that's about it for now. Let's go ahead and jump into the story. You know, so last week's story, we were uh, it was a set of stories about Sam and his kite. I think this week uh, we've only got one or two stories that might tie together. Uh, otherwise, I think they're all standalone stories. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to start with Tim and his hat. Tim had a hat. It was red and white. Tim said, I hate this hat. Ooh, Tim, bad words, bad words, man. But his mother said, it is cold outside so you must have a hat. When Tim was outside, he said, I will take this hat and hide it. So he did. He found an old tree with a hole in it. Ooh. He stuck the hat in the hole. Then he said, when I come back from school, I will get my hat from the tree. Tim got to school on time. He began reading his book. Then he looked out the window. What do you think was falling from the sky? Snow was falling. When Tim saw the snow, he said, Wow, it is getting cold out there. And it was. It was getting colder and colder. When school was over, the snow was very deep. Tim walked outside. Then he said, my ears are getting cold. I had better run home. So Tim began to run. He ran as fast as he could go, but the snow was very deep and it was hard to run in that snow. The other boys and girls were playing in the snow, but Tim did not have time to play. He said, I must get home before my ears get too cold. At last, Tim came to the old tree. He grabbed his red and white hat. He slipped the hat over his ears. Then he said, I don't hate this hat. I like this hat now. Tim did not hate his hat after after that day. And he did not hide his hat in trees. Now Tim has time to play with the other boys and girls when the snow gets deep. This story is over. Oh, 
Very good. That was a good story. I like that story. Tim and his hat. And if you'll notice in this picture, boom, Tim is putting his hat in the tree. And since the story said, or since the end of the story says this story is over, we know the next story is not going to be about Tim and his hat. So overall, it was, I mean, it was, it's just a standalone story. It's on its own. But it was a really good story. Let's go ahead and look at our worksheet for this story. It's blurry. Hang on. Ba, 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 kind of fixed it a little bit. Might have to move it up. Hang on one second, guys. So remember, if you remember last week, sometimes I said that the camera gets a little blurry depending upon the lighting and whatnot. I'm just going to try to fix that real quick by moving the worksheet up a little bit closer. Let's take a look. Do, do, do. That's a little bit better. Still a little blurry, but not terrible. All right. Let's go ahead and look at worksheet 79, because that was story 79 we just read. And uh, we're going to be working on side one and side two. So let's look at the first half of the worksheet here, which is our reading comprehension, that uh, all of these questions tie directly to the story. Uh, number one, what did Tim have? Think about what the story was about. And tell me, right here, what did Tim have? And if you're going to be doing this in Google Classroom, you'll notice that there is a blue box to type your answer into. Okay, number two. Did Tim like his hat or hate his hat? And then here you're going to write blank his hat. So you can say he liked his hat or he hated his hat. Okay? It's entirely up to you, but you have to write he liked or he hated. Okay. Number three. Tim got to school on blank. Okay. Think about what happened in the story. Tell me, did Tim, you know, Tim got to school on blank. Number four. Okay. Where did Tim hide his hat? In blank. Was it in a cup? In the house? In a tree? Or the snow? Think about what we heard in the story and think about that last picture I showed you. What did we see in the last picture? Where did Tim hide his hat? Okay, number five. What did he see falling from the sky? Rain, snow, drops, or birds? What did he see falling from the sky? And then number six, the last part of this portion of the page. Did Tim hate his hat after that day? Hmm. Think back on the end of the story. What did Tim say about his hat? All right. Go ahead and take all the time that you need. If you need more time, please pause the video. Otherwise, I'm going to take a second or two longer and, and move on. If you're doing this worksheet with this video, that is fine. Um, but at the same time, if you're just watching the video to know how to do the worksheet, that is okay too. Okay. Let's look at the bottom half of this worksheet. You'll notice that we have a sentence here and directions down here. And we have to use the directions down here to complete our activity for this sentence. Okay. So let's read our sentence. A deer ran to the top of the hill. Number one, make a box around the two words that tell what ran to the top of the hill. So if you're doing this in Google Classroom, you'll notice off to the side um, that there's some 
uh, boxes and, and, and things like that that you can move around. Um, if you're doing this at home though, what I want you to do is you're going to make a box around the two words that tell us what ran to the top of the hill. Okay, and uh, if you're going, Mr. Flanders, what's a box? Uh, remember, it's just a square. Okay, that's all it is, four sides. Okay, number two. Circle the six words that tell where the deer ran. So, the story, uh, it's a, you know, it's a one sentence story. And, you know, again, it says a deer ran to the top of the hill. So we have to circle the six words that tell us where the deer ran. Okay. Uh, my suggestion to you would be to start at the end of the story and count backwards until you get to six. And that'll show you all the words you need to circle. Okay. It's my, my advice to you. Number three. Make a V over the word ran. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to look for the word ran in the sentence here, and then that will give you the answer. On that note, guys, I'm going to pause this video real quick. I need to take a phone call. We will pick this back up in just a second. Hey, everybody. Let's go ahead and pick back up the lesson. I apologize for the intrusion. Um, in a nutshell, my AC broke, so I was expecting a call from a technician to come and fix it. And that was the call that I had to conclude that part of our lesson with and then jump over and grab that real quick. But anyways, enough interruptions, enough brouhaha. We are going to get started or continue anyways on uh, Worksheet 79. And I have flipped over to side two. So if you were doing this worksheet with me, please switch over to side two. We're going to look at the top half of the worksheet here. And it says, look at the picture on page 212 of your reader. Uh, now, if you are doing this on Google Classroom, the picture should already be in the slide with the story. If you are doing this with your packet, you should also have the picture with the story. But just in case you guys forgot what the picture looks like, I am going to show you right here. Okay. Keep track of what is happening. What is Tim wearing? What does Tim have? How does it look outside? Okay. Let's look at question one. What is Tim holding? Think about what Tim is trying to put in the tree. Okay. And then number two. Is Tim hot or cold? Well, think about what's happening in the story. I mean, they, they said it's snowing and, and in the picture, I mean, it looks like he's surrounded by snow. So, that might tell you if he's hot or cold. And then, in, or for question number three, it says, is it snowing? Well, think about what I just said. Think about the picture you saw. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty easy answer. If you just think about it for a second, which I know all my friends are doing. Because all my friends are superstars when it comes to this stuff. So, is it snowing? I think you know the answer. Go ahead and take a couple more seconds and finish up those questions. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to move the worksheet up here. Okay. And we're going to look at the bottom half of our worksheet. You'll notice I've got a paragraph here to read. And we've got four questions with it. Okay. Um, make sure if you are doing this worksheet at home, you are reading this paragraph to uh, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, basically whoever's around. So that way you're practicing your reading because it's not just about me reading it. It's also about you reading it too. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into it. One day Peg started to make a hat. She was having a lot of fun. The hat got bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon the hat was too big for a boy. It was too big for a man. It was even too big for a horse. Who do you think got that hat? An elephant. He liked it a lot. Wow, an elephant 
got that. That is pretty crazy, guys. Insane. All right, let's look at the questions. <sighs> Number one. Who made the hat? Okay, think about it. The answer is going to be in this first sentence right here. Who made the hat? Number two. Why couldn't a boy have the hat? The hat was too blank. Okay, the hat was too what, guys? Too soft too small, too heavy. What was it? Number three. Why couldn't a horse have the hat? The hat was too blank. It was too what, guys? It's the same answer as number two. So when you have number two, you're going to have the answer for number three as well, right? Think about it. And then, number four, who got the hat? All right, make sure you're putting your answer right here. If you're doing this in Google Classroom, you'll have a blue box to be typing in. Um, but yeah, who got, who got the hat? And remember what I said at the end, I pointed to the word. All right, which word is that? That'll give you the answer. All right, and that concludes Lesson 79 with Tim and his hat and right here with our story about the big hat too right in here all right well guys it has been a lot of fun okay I am happy with what I'm seeing I I, I love the work you guys have been doing the past couple of weeks uh, truly you guys are doing rock star stuff um, just keep up the good work I believe in you guys so much and I really appreciate the effort that you're giving uh, it's 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 really remarkable. I'm proud of you guys on that note. I'm gonna run. I'll see you guys in the next reading mastery lesson